Today's GED math problem of the day, what is the total area of the region? Use pi equals 3.14. So it looks like we have a rectangle and a semicircle, which is half of a circle. So in order to find the area of this region, we're going to have to take the two pieces separately. So first, to find the area of a rectangle, area of a rectangle is length times width. So either side could be the length or the width. So you're just doing 10 times 20. That's going to give you 200. So the area of the rectangle is 200. Now let's take the area of the semicircle. So first of all, the area of a complete circle would be pi r squared. So if I have a semicircle, I just need to take a half of that. So what does pi r squared represent? First of all, the problem says to use 3.14 for pi. So I'm going to go ahead and replace pi with 3.14. Then I need r. r is the radius of the circle. So that's going to be half of this line here. So that line would represent the diameter. And half of the line would be the radius. So half of a diameter is a radius. So that full line is 20 centimeters, as I see here at the bottom. That full line represents 20 centimeters. And half of that line would be the radius. So the radius is 10. Then we have to square the radius and then take a half of that final answer. So now remember, we're doing this half here because this is not a full circle. This is only half of a circle. So keep working here. You can use a calculator for this part, but I'm just going to do it by hand. So 3.14, 10 squared is 100. And then we want to take half also. So it's going to be 3.14 times 100 times a half. So that's 3.14 times 50. You can multiply any of these first. I decided to multiply the 100 by the half first because that's just the easiest to do in my head. Let's actually go ahead and multiply this. So I'm going to multiply 50 times 3.14 with a calculator and I get 157. So now the area of the circle is 157. And now you just need to put those two areas together because we want the total area. So the total area would be 357. If you need help with math, book a session with me online or in person at feelingalgebraic.com.